Once upon a time, in the enchanted land of Aldoria, there lived a young magician named Felix. Felix was small in stature but possessed a great love for magic. Every day, he would practice his spells and study the ancient arts in hopes of becoming a powerful wizard one day. One sunny morning, while exploring the mystical woods near his village, Felix stumbled upon a hidden clearing. In the center of the clearing, there was a peculiar old oak tree with gnarled branches and glowing leaves. Curiosity overwhelmed him, and he cautiously approached the tree. As Felix drew closer, he noticed a shimmering object nestled within the roots of the oak tree. It was a spell book, bound in faded leather and emanating an otherworldly aura. Without hesitation, Felix reached out and took hold of the spell book, feeling an instant connection to its mysterious energy. Little did Felix know that this spell book was no ordinary book. It was said to contain ancient spells that had been lost for centuries, spells capable of unimaginable wonders and dangerous magic. The spell book had been safeguarded by the oak tree, awaiting a worthy magician to unlock its secrets. Intrigued and excited, Felix hurried back to his modest cottage, clutching the spell book tightly. He sat at his wooden desk, his heart pounding with anticipation, as he opened the spellbook's worn pages. Strange symbols and intricate diagrams filled each page, a language of magic known only to a select few. Felix's eyes widened as he read the incantations and studied the illustrations, realizing the immense power hidden within the spellbook. He decided to try a simple spell, one that would levitate a nearby feather. With trembling hands, he followed the instructions meticulously, uttering the magical words. To his amazement, the feather lifted from the table and hovered in midair. Felix's eyes sparkled with delight, his dreams of becoming a true wizard now closer to reality. He spent days and nights engrossed in the spell book, learning spells that transformed objects, conjured illusions, and even summoned elemental forces. However, as Felix delved deeper into the spell book, he began to notice a change within himself. The magic consumed his every thought, and he became obsessed with mastering every spell within its pages. He neglected his friends, his village, and even his well-being. The allure of the spellbook had ensnared him in its powerful grip. One evening, while experimenting with a particularly complex spell, Felix accidentally unleashed a chaotic surge of energy that shook his cottage. The spellbook trembled in his hands, and a voice echoed through the room, a voice that seemed to come from the very essence of the book itself. Felix, young magician, the voice whispered, filled with both wisdom and warning. Beware the seduction of unlimited power. Magic must be wielded with balance and responsibility, or it can consume you. Startled, Felix realized the truth in the voice's words. He had become a prisoner of his desires, lost in the pursuit of endless power. Determined to break free from the spellbook's hold, he made a choice, a choice to use magic wisely to restore balance to his life and his world. With newfound resolve, Felix closed the spellbook and placed it on a high shelf, out of reach. He returned to his village, seeking forgiveness from those he had neglected and vowing to use his magic to bring joy and wonder to others. From that day forward, Felix became known as the Little Magician, a symbol of hope and humility, reminding all that the true magic lies not in the spells themselves, but in the hearts of those who wield them with wisdom and compassion. And as for the mysterious spell book, it remained safely hidden, waiting patiently for the day when another worthy magician would learn its valuable lessons.